Hello everyone and welcome back to CLGTR channel. It's been a long time I didn't do any main debug tutorial and many of you guys asking me how to creating scattering effect with Medibank Pen Pro just the same as I did with Clip Studio Pen. So I will show you how to do it in this video. After you finish this video, you will have the result uh, you see on the screen right now. At first, you have to repair a main character or an object with transparent background. The check cat background is the transparent background, okay? Uh, why we need that? Because we just want to make the scattering effect for the character, not the background. So in case you're drawing the comic and you have the background for the character, remember to make them uh, separate and uh, we won't make a mess uh, for the background and the character later okay here i have the layer one this is the layer that i have the character in here that's it and i will duplicate this layer i will go to the layer in here and choose duplicate or simply use Control or command with j after you click that, you will see you will, we will have two layers that look exactly the same, right? Here. Now I will rename the, uh, the layer so we won't, uh, we will easily to see what which layer I'm working on and I'm not making a mess later. So the top one, I will rename to the expand and the below one, I will rename to original. Type of origin. No. Okay, that's it. Now I will click to the expand layer and choose the select. Then I choose the max transform. What I'm doing here that to create the expand character to the place where I will make the scattering effect. And remember, you just increase the size of the character to the place where you uh, will draw the scattering and the opposite side will just leave the same. Okay, uh, I will choose a row column and the row uh, number 6 because I want to make it look uh, slightly distorted uh, and uh, just default with a number 4 is not enough. In case you find that it enough, you just leave it the same just depend your choice okay now i will hold the tiny square here and drag it around to make the expand it will look kind of ugly at first okay and when you think that is look okay for you guys you will click okay here and we will have the result of the expand layer like this one next the same with the expand layer i will click here and choose add layer stencil after you click the add layer stencil, you will see the expand layer now will disappear. That's the effect of layer mask, uh, the same I just explained in the clip studio pen. Layer mask and in Medibank we call it a stencil layer uh, with the black thumbnail, the original layer where it stick to. Here you can see the arrow that stick to the expand layer will make that layer disappear and in case you will put the layer that with the white thumbnail here in medibank will have the mask layer name it will have the layer appear that's it and next i will click to the stencil layers in here and i choose the scatter brush i have this one is my uh, custom brush you can find it on my facebook fan page to download it if you like it if you have your old brush you just use your old brush at the same okay uh, now i will use the mouse in case you use the drawing tablet you will click to the wheel here and uncheck the opacity by presser uh, if you not take this one it will make something like a kind of gradient yeah i just don't like the gradient feeling so that's why i will uncheck this one in case you love it just leave it be okay now i will draw around this one remember to choose the black color in here to have the best result because the max layer is the grayscale layer so that's why you the black one will give you the best result if you have the drawing uh, tablet 
uh, it will you can use your presser to uh, make it look better if you using the mouse you will change the size frequently like this one to make the good effect that's it that's my uh, advice for you to make this look perfect okay draw inside the character to not just outside now we finish drawing the scattering effect for the character next i will click to the original layer and choose add layer mask you will see the white thumbnail layers here that's what i just talked about uh, with you before this will have your original uh, layer will review but when you draw in the mask here it will make it disappear like this it will work just the same as the eraser so when you understanding about the layer mask and the stencil mask it will help you a lot when you want to create a lot many effects for this one okay for some part in here, I want to delete it uh, completely, so that's why I will go to the fill brush here and draw around this one to erase it. That's it. And then go back with my scattering brush and erase some part inside too. In case you want it appear again, go back to the transparency box and draw it. And this is how I create scattering effect with Medibank Pen Pro. For final touch and final step, I will create a new layer. Drag it to the back for to creating background. I will use black color and fill tool to fill the whole picture. Why I choose black? because black color will help me make this effect look better and quick too. In case you already have the background of the character, just turn on that layer and then you are finished this one. And that's it. That's how you doing the scattering effect with Medibank Pen Pro. That's it. really simple and easy, right? Hope you find this video is useful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.